fear is the feeling that failing matters. This is the overall idea of fear. The idea that you can be afraid of something that you before that didn't understand necessarily. What we are bringing you from closing opposition today is the idea that fear and the fear of soldiers is necessary, necessary to shape democracies and to prevent all the harms that closing opposition wanted to bring us. We believe nationalism and um, religious, uh, r religious extremism are there and cause that actually there will be no fear. They are not there to reduce fear. The religion was there before, uh, before the idea of taking away fear. Nationalism was there before taking away the fear. It is not the means to an end. It is the end. Nationalism is the strong idea of China, be believing that they are superior. The whole population believes this. The whole population of the U.S. chants USA, USA. They did it two days ago. Why did they do that? Did they do it to overcome fear? No, they didn't do it to overcome fear. They are doing it to, because they are proud. Because they believe this is the right thing to do. Even though we Germans don't think that. The idea there is that we believe that modesty and the idea of strong nationalism is a bad thing. Yes. But it is not there to prevent fear. It leads to fearlessness, which is bad at the end. We also believe that cocaine might not be a good idea in war. So. Um, besides that, what we want to tell you is, firstly, the idea, will we have actually better wars if both sides are fearless? Or if just one side is fearless? Secondly, what does it mean if we are saying a soldier is a means to an end? We debaters always say that, but there is a meaning, an idea behind that. So firstly, will we have better wars? Will we have better wars is the idea on the one side that we are saying, yeah, they are more rational, therefore it is good. The other side is basically saying, yeah, the only thing that is left is anger and the fear of a uh, court ruling. We believe that none of that is just necessarily the truth a alone. We believe that when Pierre is talking about compassion, there's a German translation for this. This is Mitgefühl, feeling together with someone. With, which means at the end of the day that I can feel the fear of someone else. This is the idea of empathy and this is what you lose as, as well when you are losing fear for your own. And you lose the fear as well before yourself that you are saying I was afraid of myself, of what I did, what I become, what I got at the end of the day. Therefore we don't necessarily believe that it leads to better wars if you are a fearless warrior. If you are one fearless warrior, you might have a nice TV show, but that doesn't mean at the end of the day that this makes a good army. Just imagine you being a civilian in front of 20 fearless soldiers. Would you feel more secure or less secure? Probably less, because you think feelings don't matter to this person that much. Feelings are not important for him to make decisions. It's just a rational calculus. I'm just a number. I'm just a number on another side. And when you know how many civilians Israel killed in the Gaza Strip, then you know what this number means to a state if you are a rational actor. So we believe that there can be actually the possibility that you are saying, yeah, it is rational to say I kill those people because I don't have this compassion, this fear of myself, this fear of feeling the fear of the other person. We therefore believe that at the end of the day, it won't lead to better wars. We see this in reality as well. After three years of the Syrian war, do you really believe that the people are still as afraid as, the, uh, as in the beginning of killing other people? We don't believe that. We believe that you get apathetic. You believe, we believe that you are getting just stronger if you get fearless. That doesn't make you a better warrior. That doesn't make you a better human being. And sometimes human beings are better warriors because they take the other side into account. Close uh, uh, opening. You're, in, you're ignoring our analysis according to which when you do not have fear, i.e. are trigger happy to protect your own life, you will objectively follow the rules of engagements written out by people outside of the battlefield who benefit from having all of the emotions that you talk about as being necessary, including empathy. We don't know if this is necessarily good. In Germany we have the idea that you as a soldier have a responsibility as well. It is not just following orders. Following orders usually led to the most severe war crimes. We don't know that this is always a good thing to say I, ju I was just following orders. And this is what you are claiming. This is what you are claiming makes a good soldier. Just following orders. We don't believe this on the opposition side. We actually think that, yeah, sacrificing yourself sometimes in, uh, might be a good thing in a war, but not today. And this is what we brought you as well in extension. And this is my second point. The media idea and that the individual matters more. When we see um, Foley, the, uh, the journalist, being captivated and it runs 24-7 on CNN, NSNBC and Fox News, then it matters. If we see that one soldier in Israel is traded for a thousand Palestinians, one soldier matters. And it keeps you away from those situations, from going into the dark alley alone, because you are now fearless. 
And this is a protection mechanism that we believe is very useful in the today's media society, where an individual well, can be point. more important than the calculus of war, than the reasons why we went through this war, than the idea of staying out of war for this. One individual can matter today in a, in, the, in a century where we just believe pictures that are emotionalized. Therefore, we think this doesn't lead to a better decision uh, calculus for the population at all. Well, and this is my last point. No, thank you, Pierre. My last point is the idea that we believe that the narrative matters that people are saying. When we are looking at Guernica, when we are, looking, when we are reading The Naked and the Dead, we can see the full show of horror of the attacker as well as the defender. Not just the civil, uh, civilians, but soldiers as well. The idea that we see that people are afraid, that people got killed, that we have compassion on by the both sides, that we have the idea war is a horrible thing at the end of the day, if we assume that actually this, uh, we will have less PMS at the end of the day, then we think this matters to a society to break all the ideas that Pear had, to break the idea of nationalism, to break the idea of extremism, to show that it is a bad thing to do this because you are afraid, because you are compassionate, because you can see the fear of the other side as a soldier as well. Soldiers going into the, another country are the only people often in a country who witness this, this war and who can come back. No other person knows what it was like uh, uh, in Southeast Asia during the Second World War except for the soldiers being there. We need them to be afraid to actually break down the USA, USA and come to the idea that we have a society where we believe that war is the worst thing that can happen to a society. That it's not just the calculus, but the horror of a generation and generations to come. This is the idea that we had in Afghanistan. We had 30 years of ongoing war because our side didn't care for war. Because the US never had a home front. Because the UK never had a home front. Those were the countries going to war there because they didn't know what war actually meant. France and Germany stayed out of those wars for good reasons. And those reasons were that, this, uh, that the people and the population knew what it meant to be a war, a war. Not just the idea of war, not just talking about it, but feeling the fear, feeling the anger, feeling everything that is bad about war in your own skin. We just can uh, give this away when we believe that soldiers need to have fear. If soldiers don't have fear, we have no one to tell us how horrible war is for the other side. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.